He called himself the Zodiac Killer, and with each chilling murder, he left behind a bizarre set of cryptic clues that terrified a nation. Here in San Francisco, a determined cop thinks he's found the killer. My suspect is a Zodiac. And out of hiding comes the one woman who looked the killer straight in the eye and says, this is the man. It's a special hard copy investigation. Tracking the Zodiac Killer. For Tuesday, May 10th, 1994, this is Hard Copy. Now he was the madman who called himself the Zodiac Killer, and this is the surviving victim who looked him straight in the eye and says she knows who the killer is. When I looked at that picture, that was him. Tracking the Zodiac Killer, next. He called himself the Zodiac Killer, and for years he terrorized the San Francisco Bay Area with his brutal murders. To this day, he has eluded authorities, but now, one determined cop says he knows exactly who the killer is and where he's hiding. Doug Bruckner has the story. The Zodiac was so bold that he killed his fourth victim, a cab driver, right in the city of San Francisco, just a few miles from Fisherman's Wharf. Even more shocking, the Zodiac taunted police with letters to the newspapers, which always carried a symbol and began with the words, this is the Zodiac speaking. We have reason to believe that he's a maniac. Uh, of course, he says now that he's murdered 10 people. It appears to us that he is killing just for the thrill of killing. He terrorized the San Francisco Bay Area with a string of brutal murders, leaving behind a bizarre set of cryptic clues. The Zodiac Killer. She was a good person. She didn't deserve to die. Not like this. Now, 25 years later, this man says he's finally tracked down the killer. There is no question in my mind that my suspect is a Zodiac. Every fiber, every part of my being tells me that he is the Zodiac killer. And in this hard copy exclusive, the surveillance tape of the man who may be the most famous serial murderer in U.S. history, the Zodiac. When I looked at that picture, that was him. I mean, it just, it just was. I knew that. This woman would know. She looked the killer straight in the eye and lived to tell about it. This car started flashing its lights behind me. I got out of the car and came up and he said my back wheel was wobbly and he could fix it. Little did she know this gesture from the Good Samaritan was typical of the killer's M.O. He went back and he fiddled around and came back and said fine, drove off. And then when I pulled off, the tire fell off. It was the most terrifying two hours of Kathy's life, but somehow she managed to escape. It was only at the police department that Kathy realized she'd been abducted by the Zodiac Killer. I look up and there's a picture on the wall that I had to spend time with. Kathy may have identified the Zodiac, but back then there were many suspects. After all, this was the most bizarre killing spree California had ever seen. A madman brutally murdering innocent victims. But what really gave the killer his distinctive place in America's criminal gallery was his use of deliberate clues, his cruel and bizarre letters taunting the victims' families, police, and the media. The thing that linked him together was his ego. It was his ego that caused him to write these letters, begging people to catch him. Two decades would pass before a dogged detective named Harvey Hines would bring Kathy out of the shadows. He says it's her eyewitness account that proves his suspect is in fact the Zodiac. She saw him and put her finger down on the picture and said that was him. And she said, it's not only my eyes telling me, it's my stomach too. Detective Hines also zeroed in on this woman. Her sister, Darlene Farron, was killed by the Zodiac in 1969. She remembers Darlene being terrified of a new stranger in town. She said that she'd seen him do something, 
She seen him kill someone. She told me to stay away from him. He was a bad man. A week later, Darlene was dead. The stranger disappeared, but Pam never forgot the man her sister warned her about. The man she's convinced is the murderer. I want the man that killed my sister brought to justice. We can't show you his face or tell you his name because he's not officially a suspect. But Detective Hines says these and other witnesses have convinced him he's finally solved the Zodiac mystery. I think Harvey's guy is the strongest suspect they've ever had. Ryder McDowell's a reporter who's investigated Harvey's theory. His findings appear in next Sunday's This World section of the San Francisco Chronicle, the very newspaper the Zodiac once sent clues to. A number of times he sent letters to the press saying, this is my identity. You solve this riddle, this cryptogram, you find out who I am. And the name that appeared in that cryptogram? It's the same name Harvey's suspect goes by today the man captured on this videotape. And Detective Hines is working to get somebody, anybody, to listen to his theory. My number one goal, it's always been that goal, is to get my suspect off the street, charged with a crime, prosecuted, and sent to prison. It's been almost 20 years since the Zodiac was last heard from, but his victims refuse to give up hope. Let's end this 25 years of a serial killer that can't be caught. That's what I want our family be able to bury my sister in the fashion that she should be buried with dignity the zodiac case has never been closed and as police follow new leads one thing for the killer to remember there's no statute of limitations on murder <laughs>